Hello you guys, welcome to the video. So this was a pretty epic yard sale. This is actually a storage unit and estate sale clear out. I didn't realize that until the end of the video. Um, and it takes me a while to start finding stuff, but when I do, the stuff just keeps coming. I was so excited. So I'm gonna hit up the clothes first, you'll see, and then stay till the end of the video because I hit a little hidden jackpot that I can't believe was still there at the end of the day. I also want to add that I've already sold multiple items from this yard sale and made back all of the money that I spent buying all of the items I found today. So again, stay tuned to the end so you can see exactly what flipped quickly and for how much. Guys, this was by far one of my favorite finds of today. It was just such a fun, like vintage piece. I've never seen anything like it and I definitely scooped it up. And I'm gonna go ahead and list it high. I'll put that on the screen right now. It may not sell anywhere near that, but there wasn't a lot of comps for it and I just thought it was awesome. So I decided to potentially wait it out to see if someone else agreed.
sure. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. My arms filled up more than I thought they would. Yes. <laughs> Thank good you. Deal. Are they all a dollar a piece? Yes. Is that right? Okay, awesome. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it so much. Oh, yeah. You're very put these down as well yeah, thank fine. you yes, I'm about ready. All right. All right. This pile right here, 25 on this pile. Okay. $17 worth of clothes. All righty. 42 bucks. Thank you. <laughs> I'm like, I was like, um. <laughs> All right, I got it exact for you there, 42. Perfect. All right. We'll Thank you. you. How often do you do these? Well, this is our second one. Okay. We did one about two weeks ago. Um, we're going to try to have a lot of sales. Yeah. Okay. And when we have a sale, it'll be different product because we all buy the states. The stuff, yeah. Stuff. Okay. So if you see the signs out, it should I will, be new stuff. I will keep my eyes peeled. Thank yes, you. All right, let's start it out here. Oh, thank you. I appreciate Perfect. it. I'll see you next time. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks. Have a good day. All right, you guys, welcome to the haul portion of the video. So this was a really fun sale. I stumbled upon this as I was going home. I thought I was done for the day. Isn't that always the way that it goes? Um, and it turned out that this is a sale that they're going to be doing frequently throughout the whole season. Essentially, they buy things from estate sales and storage lockers, like clean out leftovers, and then they go ahead and sell them at their yard sale. And their prices were really, really good. And she did say to me they'll be doing it every sort of two weeks or so, and that they donate 95% of the items when they're done with a yard sale so that almost everything is basically brand new every time you go back which sounds fantastic to me I will definitely be keeping my eyes peeled for this sale over the whole yard sale season so let me show you exactly what I picked up for a total of $42 for everything that you see here obviously down here in front um I have three vintage Polaroids um I have been picking these up and reselling them for years now I usually don't pay more than sort of three dollars for them because I almost always flip them for around $25 or so so untested. I don't have the skill or the inclination to test each Polaroid uh, separately, so I do just sell them untested. It's always done fine for me, and they usually sell, honestly, on the very same day that I list them. They've been really, really quick, consistent sellers for me, so one, two, three of those. I also picked up this little Sony um, Radio Walkman. I just thought it was really cool, and the battery compartment is really, really clean as well, which definitely matters with these vintage electronic items. I don't know how much this is worth or if it's worth anything at all, but I just kind of threw it in my pocket. And it does still have the belt clip on the back as well, which so often these do get broken off over time, so that's always a bonus. 
Um, I picked up one game. When I looked this up, I scanned the barcode and it is complete. There's a little bit of breakage, unfortunately. It does need a wipe down, but it does have the original manual and the game inside. So when I scanned this very first sold item that came up um, was a pre-owned version of this, exactly like mine. It's sold for $24.99. Um, but then scrolling through at a later date when I got back and sort of unpacked everything, I think that this doesn't hold much value at all, maybe $10. Oh, well, you win some, you learn some. And then in this bag right here, and again, this was right at the end of the day and they've been doing this for I think three days so I'm kind of surprised all of these items were still here I guess just the right person hadn't come along who'd be interested in them um, but we have two sets of controllers we have one set which is the original Sega controllers and another set of two which are the original Sega Genesis controllers so kind of a fun find there. All right, and everything else left is clothing. Like I said, I spent $42 total for everything, but basically all of the clothing was $1 a piece. So uh, that informs some of my decisions here. First item is a pair of Hudson jeans with the button flat pockets, and they are a really neat uh, flared design, and they do have very little wear to them, so not bad at all for a book. Lots of fun vintage pieces in here, but then also just a few sort of generic pieces that I know will sell. Uh, we have a Talbot's piece here. I don't pick up much Talbot at all but when it is a novelty print and this is a linen um, blend cardigan as well it has the sailing theme to it I know that that will sell on eBay have a fun very very sort of 80s 90s with the shoulder pads kind of like a tea dress almost like an a-line dress and it is uh, dead stock or new old stock with the tag still on very very bright this is a bit of a bowler that I hadn't heard of before, uh, Sandy Starkman. Um, I picked it up because it felt like really good quality and it was incredibly heavy. Um, it is a cardigan, but then it's like really heavily embellished. Again, very, very like 90s-esque to me. Definitely has a kind of art to wear vibe to it. Um, and actually looking these up, these can go anywhere from like 35 all the way up to like 65, just depending on the design. I also picked up a reversible jacket. I do think that it's an older piece it's just like a bomber jacket like an aviator bomber jacket and um looking at the tag it does say jacket flyers man intermediate so i'm guessing that this is actually a, a piece for someone in the services and it's in really good condition so for a book grab that one quick little uh epcot walt disney world uh t-shirt there oh this is a brand i actually couldn't decipher i couldn't figure out what the heck this said but um i was so interested in not being able to read this and also it felt like quality uh, just a men's v-neck t-shirt i grabbed it for a book so that i could go ahead and research that so if i find anything out i will let you know got a vintage piece here it's not like super vintage um no single stitch or anything like that but it definitely looks a little bit kind of 90s 2000 it just says paid in full and then it has a list of all these cities two everlane t-shirts both size small so i will be lotting those up together and selling them as a pair this is a vintage piece probably around about 90s as well and um, it's kind of like a sort of thick material and um, obviously we have a nude and black polka dot but then what really caught my eye was the fact that the back of it is completely buttoned down i thought that was really preppy and cute for a vintage piece another cute vintage piece this one has given me way more 70s vibes it's kind of like a long sleeve blouse with a an almost like peter pan collar look and then a pussy bow at the neckline here just really really nice and bold and has kept really well these were a bit of a surprise as well i picked these up because they just looked so interesting they're mitchell and Ness. and these are for san antonio spurs and this is like a nostalgia kind of line that they did where it's obviously very very throwback retro um it is a newer piece it's not true vintage but it's you know made to look kind of vintagey if you know what i mean um and the last pair that sold exactly like this sold for about 30 dollars, but some of them have gone as high as 40 this is my absolute favorite find of this yard sale <laughs> oh i love this kind of stuff so much um so we do have true vintage single stitch here and it is simply a graphic t-shirt definitely an older piece here my guess would be 80s let me know what you think i'll do some research um, and it literally says bury me with my basketball just in case the basketball graveyard i just thought that was so like quirky unusual i'm going high with this because i just think it's really neat and i want to <laughs> one pair of old navy um pixie pants size 12 grab them simply because they were brand new with tags originally 35 dollars and lastly a vintage so we're talking kind of like 2000s here polo jeans ralph Lauren, size large and it's just a waffle knit men's long sleeve top with the embroidered spell out again y2k is something i'll put in there and it's just very preppy and very 2000s
And that's everything. Let me know in the comments, what do you think is the neatest thing that I picked up at this yard sale? I do love the quirky vintage stuff. It's my favorite stuff to find, to list, and then to rehome. But I'm always interested to see what you guys think is kind of cool from these yard sales as well. All right, you guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you want to come along with me to more yard sales this season, I'll be posting multiple times a week all the way through spring, summer, and fall. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification so you never miss a video. I will catch you in the next one. Bye.